The story begins with a guy holding a bag in his hand and is tired and exhausted because he failed an interview again. He is Liu Nian, an ordinary university student, and today is the 18th time he has been rejected in an interview because the boss of that company wanted a slave rather than an employer. And I think the boss rejected him because the boss seems to be busy under the table. There seems to be something going on under that table. Anyways, although he faced constant setbacks after graduation, fortunately, he has a considerate and beautiful girlfriend. She always comforts him when he is exhausted, and today is their third anniversary, and he wants to surprise her with that cake he brought in that bag. He comes in front the house of his girlfriend, and there is a car in front of her house, and some weird noise is coming from inside the car. Liu Nian notices the voice coming from the car, it's his girlfriend's voice, calling someone named Kao, her daddy. Next thing he saw, shocked his world, the ugly face of his girlfriend being punished by her daddy. She also notices Liu Nian outside, and informs Kao about Liu Nian. But Kao didn't give a crab about Liu Nian and keep on punishing her. Dang she looks ugly. Poor boyfriend boiling and angry outside, gets ready to teach them a lesson. But he gets a call from his mother informing him about his father and cousin, who are in very critical condition and are in the emergency room of the first city hospital. He throws the anniversary cake he brought for his girlfriend, gets ready to go to the hospital. After all, family comes first. As for the two inside the car, he gets ready to deal with them later. In the first city hospital, father and cousin have escaped the dead, but are in a deep coma. And the doctors are surprised because they have received several patients with similar symptoms, but they can't find the exact cause of the coma. Liu Nian arrives at the hospital. His mother informs him about his father and cousin, who are in coma. Turns out that his father and cousin were playing a game and this happened, and also told her son not to play that game several times, and even reporting about that game was useless. She informed the police about it, but they couldn't do anything because the server was overseas, and blocking it was impossible. She even smashed the VR headset, but a new one appeared at their doorstep next day. Liu Nian also heard about this game from his father. His father after losing his job, he tried this new MMO game, Glory Continent, and it was his father who introduced his cousin to this game, to make some money from it for Liu Nian's dowry. Liu Nian gets ready to uncover the mystery behind this game, the online game which recently launched with the VR headset and can experience ultra-realistic gameplay. And because of this realistic sensation, the game caused a huge stir in the gaming community as soon as it launched. His dad and cousin fell into coma after playing this game. He wants to find out what happened to them after they played this game. That's why, he is also going to play it. Five hours later, somewhere in the Iron Fence Mountain Novice Village Wilderness, a ghoul hungry for man is about to attack someone. It's Liu Nian. After five hours, he has leveled up to level 3 and the ghouls are attacking him. He finishes them with his AK-47. He got some money and drop from those ghouls, and also 50 experience points. Because of those money and drops, he seems to have forgot why he was there in the first place. Then he gets hit by a lightning. He uses some very bad words to curse them for attacking him with the lightning. He lost 180 HP from that one attacked. It seems like he attracts some attention of PK player. And they attacked him because Liu Nian got some very rare cultivation stone with him. The guys who attacked him has very funny names. They also have Lady in their group and it's Liu Nian's girlfriend and that daddy Kao. Liu Nian uses a stink bomb to escape from there. He manages to escape from there by using that bomb and making those PK players feel like they ate Kauda. However, he was shot. His HP dropped by 280 this time. It was his girlfriend who shot him with that giant stick. Her daddy Kao bought her. Now that Liu Nian can't do anything, Kao gets ready to kill him, take his items and his woman. After killing him they leave from there. And even though, this is a game Liu Nian is confused to see that he is feeling the pain his heart is hurting and his vision is getting blurry. When he opens his eyes he hears some voices, saying, Your Majesty, you have finally returned. Two beautiful ladies are greeting him with their two beautiful melons. He is confused by this sudden situation. There are two beautiful ladies massaging his legs. He was supposed to respond in the novice village. But here he is, in front of two beautiful ladies. But there is also another lady. She pushes the two ladies away from her lord and greets him. She too is a beautiful lady, and her name is Sudaji. She is a fox lady, who is ready to bathe with him again. Seeing their lord little confused, the green-haired lady give him a mirror to help him freshen up. Liu Nian gets shocked to see the person in that mirror. He gets shocked to see that, and also shocked to see those three beautiful ladies. Asks them about who are they and why he looks like that. They all falls on their knees, informs him that he is in the Xuanyuan tomb and they are the three demons guarding the tomb by order. He told them that he will be reborn after thousand years, and he is finally reborn now. He is little confused at the same time he is excited for mistakenly reincarnated as the King Zhu in the game. 
If that's the case, he wants to have a harem of beauties, and the green-haired lady is ready to be punished for her poor service. He also gets ready to punish her, orders her to use her tongue, and, but Sudaji just wants him to rest. He just got reborn, and she wants to bathe with him. Man, he got cheated by that ugly girlfriend and now he has three most beautiful girls he has ever seen, ready to take a bath with him. Next, Liu Nian gets ready to go and take that hot spring bath with the three beautiful ladies. Two beautiful ladies was waiting for him there. Sudanji also arrives there with very little cloth. She even takes off that little cloth she was wearing. In the bath, Liu Nian notices that the hot spring has a faint aroma. The game not only feels real, but even the smells are incredibly lifelike. Daji informs him that there are some important ingredients in the bath that will greatly increase his cultivation. That's why, there is that aroma, and they used to do dual cultivation there. As their king, or the emperor, he gets ready to fulfill his consort's demands. He did dual cultivation with his three beautiful wives. Liu Nai and his fast forward huh. He didn't let go of this opportunity, and thanks to that, he unlocked a hidden class, the human emperor. He also learned the secret cultivation method. Wine pool and meat garden, this will double the cultivation speed for 72 hours after dual cultivation. He also gets another method. Waste not, want not, this will instantly activate a magic treasure three times without casting time, but the treasure will be destroyed after that. Liu Nian is happy that he unclocked a hidden class and learned new skills by just doing dual cultivation. After some time, the green-haired lady informs him that a guy named Shen Gongbao have come there and wants to discuss matters with her sister in the Xuan Palace. Hu Zaimai doesn't like that Shin Gongbao guy, because he is a traitor and also colluded with the demon sect, and if he finds about that their lord has been reborn, she is scared thinking he might do something to her lord. To solve that problem, Su Daji gets ready to use a very special ornament, that will conceal their lord's aura and no one will be able to find it out. No she is done with that concealment, and Liu Nian is between her melons. She gets ready to go and meet Shin Gongbao. She arrives at the Xuan Palace. There are two ogre-looking guards, and Shen Gongbao sitting on the throne of the king. Seeing him sitting on that throne, Daji gets ready to teach him some lessons. One guard tries to stop her but she is just too strong for him. She sent him flying with just a flick of her hand. Seeing that she is so strong, the other guards informs her that they are not there to cause trouble. They came there to inform her that Shen Gongbao has taken over the game's operation to harvest human essence. Hearing that word, game operation, shocked Liu Nian because a normal NPC would never say something like that. Daji also gets ready to listen to their explanation. Shen Gongbao, after seeing that Daji is still strong even after spending her thousand years in that tomb, he gets ready to inform her why he came there. He informs her about the game that Zhang Zia designed, Glory Continent, to transport human to a small world for training and set up some talents who can ascend to the celestial realm. The humans in the game leave puppet avatars in reality to continue their lives. Because the game incorporates many elements from popular games and is extremely realistic, it attracted nearly million players as soon as it launched. According to Zhang Zia initial game settings, players who die in the game can revive at the respawn point as long as their essence remains intact, with no harm to their bodies. But Shen Gongbao messed that setting. He brought demons from the demon realm, sneaked them into the small world, disguised as various NPCs, secretly harvesting human essence. When human essence is controlled by demons, their avatars in reality fall into coma. The game has nine mountains. First one is the Iron Fence Mountain and the last one is Mount Sumeru. 80% players are still in first level, and 20% have entered the second mountain. But many of them got ambushed by the demons and are trapped in dungeons, having their essence drained. Shen Gongbao have also sealed Zhang Zia. He wants to drain the human essence to break through the barrier of something and make the demons unify the three realms. This new information shocked Liu Nian. He thought that this was a game but it turned out to be real. And the demons are harvesting the player's essences. That means his cousin and his father are also trapped somewhere in the dungeon of the second mountains by those demons. Shen Gongbao offers Daji to become more powerful by harvesting the essence of the Emperor Zin who died thousand years ago. The emperor that Su Daji and her sisters are guarding. Daji informs him that the emperor or the king have not awakened yet, she lies. And now that Shen Gongbao has informed her and got the information he needed, he gets ready to leave from there. After he left, Liu Nian comes out. He disagrees with Shen Gongbao's idea. He gets ready to use his skill human emperor to cultivate properly, save his father, find Zhang Zia, and stop Shen Gongbao's conspiracy. His wives or consorts are ready to follow him as they vowed to serve him to the death. Daji gives him a golden jade seal, an artifact from his previous life. The artifact holds treasure from his previous life, and to open it, he has to say, I am human emperor, open the jade seal. Golden lights comes out from the artifact, the treasures are coming out. The treasure that come out from that jade seal is a sword. 
As for the other's treasures, he has to reach level 20 to open their seal. And Liu Nian is not happy with that sword because it's kinda rusty and all. Mei notices that sword. The sword is called Phoenix Sword that he used to carry. She informs him that the sword is a very capable sword, and he needs materials to activate that sword. She gets ready to send him the list of those materials. Since he can't use that sword, he gets ready to use that AK-47 from earlier. But Daji doesn't want him to leave so soon, he just reborned. She wants to spend more time with him. He pats her, tells her that he has to do this, and he will return regularly to do dual cultivation with them. She is happy after hearing that, gets ready to wait for him. Liu Nian tries to teleport to the novice village but he is unable to do so. Mei informs him that it must be because of the distance. The novice village is too far from that tomb, and his normal teleportation is not working because the destination is too far. His other wife informs him that his jade seal has to be in function. He can use that to teleport anywhere. Thanks to her, he uses his jade seal to teleport from there to the novice village. His wives farewell him and wait for him return. Next, Liu Nian finds himself in the novice village. Suddenly a group of people charges toward him, but they are running because a wild boss have appeared. Among those people, there is a lady with wings on her back and is flying above Liu Yang. She is beautiful just like the other waifus, and looks like she is not flying but jumping, stepping on the heads of other people. And Liu Nian is smiling pervertly because he saw something beautiful just as he respond. Beautiful white pretty panties. And he is surprised to see that wind thunder wings, because it's a super rare speed item from the item pool. The boss that appears is a ginseng tree spirit, a level 14 monster. None of the player's attacks are working on it. Liu Nian also arrives there with his gun. And that wing lady is also ready to engage in the fight. Her attacks seem to be dealing some damage, she has cut some roots. And she is confident that she can handle it because that monster is just two level higher than she. But even her attacks didn't do that much damage to that boss monster. Suddenly roots come out from the ground and grab Liu Nian and that lady together. The monster binds them together, face to face. Now all the assets of that lady is touching Liu Nian directly. Because the root is tightening, the lower parts start to touch each other. It is too much for Liu Nian to handle it. So his rooster wakes up from the sleep. The lady also notices the hard weapon of his. She asks him about that hidden weapon of his. Then some bubbles appears next to them. She notices that it's the ginseng fruit that explodes. Two explodes behind Liu Nian. His clothes get melts, but the lady's clothes are fine. She gets an idea to get out from that situation. Her necklace, it's a magic necklace called Phoenix Feather. But her hands are tied so she can't activate it. Liu Nian gets ready to activate it. However, being in that situation is also not bad for him. They are being squeezed and getting tighter, and their assets are also getting together. The lady orders him to quickly activate her magic item. He shuts her up for shouting and gets that necklace from her neck. She gets mad because he dared to yell at her. Liu Nian activates the item. Phoenix comes out from that item, which surprises the lady because that item of hers, it needs some casting time to activate, but he activated it instantly. The Phoenix burned down that tree. People there are cheering for the lady because she is the eldest daughter of some big company. They called her Miss Fang and are mad to see Liu Nian next to her. However, the monster is not dead yet. It revived and also have mutated into stronger monster. Now it's getting dangerous, because that magic item's cooldown is half an hour. But Liu Nian gets ready to take care of it. People makes fun of him for talking big like that. Their last hope is their Miss Fang who has many magic items with her. But Fang doesn't have any magic items with her right now. She didn't bring that many magic items with her this time and she is ready to retreat if the situation gets dangerous. Even though, it's embarrassing for someone like her to escape, but it's better than getting killed and lose all her equipment. Liu Nian jumps at that monster with the phoenix, but only one attack didn't kill that monster. This shocked everyone there, because after using a magic item there is a cooldown, but he is using it so soon already. The phoenix attacks Tay Tree again. This time, it kills that tree monster. Now some people are cheering for Liu Nian. And for defeating that mutated monster, he gets 5 ginseng fruit, 5 amethyst, and 66,666 gold coins. He also leveled up from 9 to 12, and also obtained mutated star stone, and 15,000 experience points. And Fang seems to have fallen for him after seeing him fighting with that monster, and even using the item 3 times in a row. The cheating ex-girlfriend and Ko were behind the rock doing dual cultivation, and seeing Liu Nian using that magic item. Ko gets ready to snatch all the magic item he has. The boys are mad at Liu Nian because they think that Liu Nian cheated somehow. But girls, they are getting weak in their legs. Fang notices someone saying that he must have something in his mouth and is hiding some artifact to instantly activate magic item. And Liu Nian is also surprised to see that his extravagant waist can be this useful. 
His waste not skill has now turned to extravagant waste. Then the magic item gets shattered into pieces. He is scared to dead because that item is worth 3 million RMB currency. Suddenly waves of ladies with different genders jumps at him, ready to give him French kiss and Japanese kiss. Fang also gets ready to find the secret behind his instant activation of magic item. She heard those people saying that he is hiding something in his mouth. So she gets ready to kiss him and find the hidden thing inside his mouth. So she punches those other ladies, charges toward Liu Yang. He apologizes to her for breaking her item, but she doesn't care about such item. Without wasting a second, she gives him a kiss and starts to search for the item inside his mouth. After 10 minutes, the kissing position have changed. She is searching him thoroughly. At a girl, even after searching for 10 minutes, she didn't find anything inside there. She then spared him, and about the item, she doesn't care about it. But his items were destroyed because he protected her from the blast earlier. So she informs him to go to the Bayahua Tower to get some item for himself. But he doesn't have that much money to go to the Bayahua Tower, because every item there starts at million. She gets ready to take him there and buy some items for him. She wants to thanks him for saving her. But that's not all. She is mad because she gave away her first kiss but also found nothing. That's why. She wants to thoroughly search him one more time and gets ready to squeeze him dry by searching his body thoroughly. Next, she brought him to her mansion, which shocked Liu Nian to see such a big mansion in the VIP area. The inside is also awesome, and the value of the game currency and the real world is same. So he is surprised to see such a big mansion which is worth tens of millions. The master bed is fluffy. He finally understood what his father used to say, that playing in gold farming groups in the game could help him earn dowry. Miss Feng gets ready to take a bath. The fight earlier made her sticky all over. She takes a shower and Liu Nian is confused about what is going on there. They come there to just change clothes. But now things has turned into taking shower. He wonders if she is offering herself to him. And she also has other plans for Liu Nian. She bought a bewitching incense in the VIP area. Applies it on her legs to make Liu Nian pass out after smelling her and search him thoroughly. She comes outside and there is still time before the Bayahua Tower auction opens. They gets ready to rest a bit, and seeing her like that, the rooster have awakened again. She asks him about her legs, lifting her rope little higher, while Liu Nian is pressing his rooster little lower after seeing that. The aroma from her legs starts to spread in the air. She even offers him to have a taste of her legs, after hearing that he couldn't hold it anymore, and jumps onto her. And she is confused about why isn't he passing out. She bought that thing from the VIP area from an old man. The old man informed her about the effect of the potion and all. After hearing the effect and all, she bought it without thinking. And now instead of working as a knockout drug, it is working as an aphrodisiac. Liu Nian start the fight by giving her a kiss. Something happened to her after that. The night was long. They fight with each other non-stop. There were screams of pain and pleasure. Holding hands, a dark horse running on water. The water splashes everywhere. And finally, the volcanic eruption. And the fight ended. Next day, it was her first fight. She has bleed in that fight. And didn't thought that the fight would last for six hours. And now that he has hurt her like that, she informs him that from now on, he is the son-in-law of the Fang family. She takes out a skill mail virtue manual, handed in his hand, informs him if he cheats on her, she will castrate him. Now she is done, she gets ready to pick some outfit for him to change. But her legs, they have become little weak, because of last night fight. Liu Nian who is worried about her, gets yelled by her because it was his fault in the first place that she is weak in her legs now. Since she is weak in her legs, she gives him a card with the limit of one blade. Liu Nian gets shocked to see a legendary black gold card. She gets ready to take some rest and tells him to just buy whatever he wants. And about the fight last night, she too enjoyed it, even though it was her first brutal fight. She notices that he is physically strong, and wonders if he can become an asset to her Feng family with some training. Next, Liu Nian comes to the Beihu Tower, and the entrance fee was 1 million. And in there, he gets greeted by his cheating ex-girlfriend and Kale. Even though she is a cheating bewitch, she sure has a bomb body. The two makes fun of Liu Nian for coming to such an expensive place when he is just a pauper. He didn't say anything to them, just get ready to show them what real wealth looks like. The bunny girl of the tower inform him about the auction and he must have assets over 10 million to enter. He gets ready to use Fang Kier's money and make it up to her later. The two despicable couple makes more fun of him. Ko even gets ready to eat shit in the live stream if Liu Nian can get inside that auction. The other people on the standby also makes fun of Liu Nian and supports Ko. But Liu Nian takes out that black gold card and show it to them all. They didn't see that coming. A black gold card. Now the people on the standby wonders if Brother Ko is going to eat shit in the live stream. Some wonders if Liu Nian is one of those legendary low-key billionaires. After seeing that card, cheating girlfriend and Ko are sure that the card is fake and asks the guard to check it thoroughly. The god also gets ready to check the card 
and if it's a fake, he gets ready to show Liu Nian a hell. But the card is genuine. The guard suddenly changes his attitude and asks Liu Nian to proceed from the super VIP entrance. And as for the two, he warns them and is mad at them because those fools almost made him offend a VIP. Now people are ready to start the live stream of them eating shit. Anyways, Kao also gets ready to enter inside the auction room. But his card is just a regular gold card, so the guard asks him to just enter from the regular line, which seems to be a very long line. Now the cheating girlfriend is mad for being humiliated by Liu Nian. She gets ready to find someone even richer than Kao to teach Liu Nian a lesson. Inside the auction house, Liu Nian is at the front in the VIP seat, while Kao and his girl are way behind. A beautiful lady welcomes them, she is a madam of the Beiahua Tower. And I wonder if people come there for auction or just to see her. The first item of the auction is an item that can instantly restores 50% of health, and the starting price is 1 million. People starts to bid. Kao gets ready to give 2 million for it and gift it to his girlfriend. Unlike some loser who couldn't even afford a decent gift for his girlfriend in 3 years. Girlfriend is super happy to get such a splendid gift. Liu Nian gets ready to give 4 million for that item. Shocking everyone who are present in the auction. Some doesn't think that it's worth the money because there is a cooldown period. And Kao is mad because he couldn't humiliate Liu Nian. He shouldn't have messed with a black gold card holder. Liu Nian win the item. After all, no one in their right mind will buy that. And Liu Nian bought it because he can use that item 3 times in a row. In an emergency situation, it will be a lifesaver for him. After seeing that, cheating girlfriend is getting excited. Her hand is going lower in the dungeon. And she is excited thinking that Liu Nian was provoked by Kao's word and wants to make it up to her. After that, Liu Nian didn't find any interesting item. Then come the last item, the Nine Luminaries Azure Dragon Robe. This piqued his interest. Madam informed them about the effect of the robe and the starting price is 3 million. After hearing the effect of that item, people are excited and are ready to buy it. They starts to bid. Kao gets ready to give 5 million for it. Girlfriend praises him for his money. And Kao also wants to see if Liu Nian have the money to compete with him now. Liu Nian bids 10 million for it. Cheating girlfriend is getting more excited after hearing that. As for Madam and Kao, they are just shocked. Now Madam is also getting little kinky. After finding such a big fish like Liu Nian at an ordinary auction, she sold it to Liu Nian. Liu Nian taunts Kao after that, flexing his money. Now the girlfriend is getting anxious thinking that she might have misjudged Liu Nian. He just take out 10 million for that item. She gets ready to find a way to fix her relationship with Liu Nian. And she is sure that she can do that. After all, her body is a body to be. Next, in the changing room of the Beiahua Tower, Liu Nian has changed his equipment. His ex comes there to make it up to him. But he is not falling for that. She comes closer to him, gets ready to celebrate their third anniversary properly. And she will make it up to him tonight. She thinks that he is a fool and will fall for her with just some little trick. But nah, he already had dual cultivation with three most beautiful women in the world. He is not falling for that cheap one. He slaps her away. In the past every time, he tried to make a move. She always putch him away saying to wait until after marriage. But she did it just after meeting with Kao. Madam arrives there. Wonder what is causing the noise in the changing room. And she is not there only for that. She wants to chat with Liu Nian in her room. As for the trash there, she kicks her away from Liu Nian. Kao also arrives there with two policemen. He told those police that Liu Nian stole a black gold card. The police also gets ready to check whether the card is his or not. He gives the card to them while praying for Miss Fang to come there and save him. Otherwise, things will go south. Ex-girlfriend goes back to her genius owner who found that the card was stolen. But they freeze up after finding out that card owner is Liu Nian. Thanks to Miss Fang who updated the cardholder information just in time. The police warns Kao for slandering other people without any evidence. After the police left, Kao gets super mad changes into his battle mode and gets ready to cut Liu Nian into pieces. Liu Nian also gets ready to test out his new gear's performance. But Kao gets blown away by Madam's wind blade. She even gets ready to kill him on the spot if he tries to fight in the Beiahua Tower. Kao realizes that he can't win against Madam. So he just curses Liu Nian from the door. Madam kicks them out and gets ready to continue with Liu Nian from where they left. She helped him with Kao, so she wants Liu Nian to pay her back. He gets ready to treat her to a dinner, but she just wants him to come to her room and chat with her. But he doesn't have the energy to chat with her. He had a very long chat with Feng Kir yesterday, and if he chats with Madam too, he will be completely drained. And what's more, Madam is already married, so he thinks that it will be a bit inappropriate. She tells him not to worry and that her skills are far beyond those inexperienced girls. She blows an air in his ear. That did something to his rooster, so he gets ready to leave from there. But the anaconda have already trapped him, she is not going to let him go tonight. She grabs him, gives him a lip lock. Now he is going to be completely drained. Madam is a fast forward woman huh? And then, 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it then watch this video here. Also like and subscribe for more. And stay tuned because next is going to be a big kaboom.